Dan Heron has pitched better than a 500 pitch here, yet that's where he stands at 4-4. Four and four. The rest of the numbers tell a different story with a strikeout for every inning pitched and an ERA a hair over two and a half. At least on this day, Heron gets some run support from his teammates. Justin Upton with the bases loaded in the second inning. His first career grand slam, 10th home run this season, 5 0 Arizona. That the first grand slam allowed by Randy Wolf since April of 2002. Next at bat, Upton, the liner, grabbed by Casey Blake, and then he doubles off Ryan Roberts. Nice play there. Next up, Mark Reynolds. Pop up foul territory and watch Orlando Hudson going over towards the crowd, makes the grab, and then falls right on in. Nice defense from the Dodgers in the fifth. Meanwhile, Dan Heron, he was untouchable. James Loney, Casey Blake going down. Heron, seven Ks and in seven innings, allowed a run on two hits. But the bullpen, not his friend on this night. Bottom eight bases loaded, two down. James Loney off Daniel Schlereth. The double, Juan Pierre, Rafael Fracal, and Orlando Hudson score. And just like that, the Dodgers tie things up at five. And next up, Casey Blake, the base hit. James Loney moved over to third on the second wild pitch of the inning. 6-5 Dodgers, a five-run eighth. Andre Ethi then trying to add to that, but watch Augie Ojeda. Beautiful play coming out there from shortstop. Keeps it a one-run game. But when you're going up against Jonathan Broxton, even when you keep it at one, it doesn't put you in a great spot. Broxton, filthy stuff, gets Felipe Lopez for his 12th save as the Dodgers come back for a 6-5 victory. Tough no decision for Dan Harron, who is also 3-for-3 three three at the plate. What does a guy have to do? Tony Pena gave up four runs in two-thirds of an inning in that eighth frame. He didn't factor in the decision, but Aaron probably stare his way for figuring out what went wrong here.